Healthcare companies see scale as the only way to compete. A spate of deals on Thursday showed that healthcare companies are convinced, regardless of tax benefits, that bigger is not only better, it is necessary. The whole industry seems to be reading from the same playbook, pair up with a company that makes the same product to become a leading provider, and thus gain more clout to negotiate business with hospitals and health insurers. That explains some of the impetus behind the more than $40 billion of deals announced on Thursday. Some of the deal activity can also be explained by the desire to acquire growing biotech firms and product lines to make up for older products whose sales are in decline. To get bigger in the cardiovascular device world, Abbott agreed to purchase St. Jude Medical for $25 billion. To double down on treatments for prostate cancer, Sanofi made an offer to buy Medivation for about $9.3 billion. And as part of a bigger push into oncology treatments, Avi signed a $5.8 billion deal for stem centrics. It is all part of an evolution in healthcare, where companies are responding to new regulation, new methods of payment, and record consolidation. Regardless of the failed transaction between Pfizer and Allergen earlier this month, Healthcare deal activity has been reinvigorated as company executives see no choice but to scale up. Imagine it's a swim meet and Abbott has their toe in the water, said Danielle Atmelfi, an analyst at Leering. You can't win unless you jump in the pool. Why so many companies chose to merge on Thursday is more a coincidence than anything, but it has made for a strikingly busy week. Deals worth almost $60 billion were announced in the sector over the last four days, making it the busiest period since mid-June last year, according to data compiled by Thomson Reuters. That excludes Pfizer and Allergen's $150 billion merger, which was announced in November and broke apart after the government issued new rules to discourage so-called inversions in which American companies seek acquisitions to move their headquarters overseas for a lower tax bill. As one set of new regulations caused a health care deal to break apart, another rule has, in some cases, encouraged other companies to come together. The new rule involves bundling to create a single payment for all the costs associated with a patient's condition. That means if someone requires care for a certain ailment, the doctor, the hospital stay, the devices used and the drugs administered would be offered as a package deal. This month, the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services mandated bundled payments for knee and hip replacements in certain cities. Analysts and experts say that it is only a matter of time before treatments for cancer and cardiovascular disease also move to bundling. The goal is to make health care cheaper and more efficient especially when the government is doing the reimbursing. Companies that position themselves as the leading providers of a product or service are at an advantage when it comes to getting in on those bundled deals, where smaller firms might not be considered providers of choice. If you can get enough critical mass as part of these acquisitions, they'll need you and then you'll have a place in the new world, said David Friend, a managing director of BDO's Center for Healthcare Excellence and Innovation. If you're too small, or too limited, you'll just become irrelevant and bypassed. In addition to policies instituted by Medicare and Medicaid, the Affordable Care Act has been putting pressure on health care providers to deliver quality care more efficiently. While bulking up through acquisitions may make strategic sense for many health care companies, these deals often do not come cheap. Investors did not reward these big merger announcements on Thursday. Shares of Abbott declined 7.8% after the acquisition of St. Jude Medical was announced. The cash and stock deal would give St. Jude Medical shareholders about $85 a share, a 37% premium, based on Wednesday's closing price. The French drug company Sanofi said it had made a non-binding offer to acquire Medivation, a biotech company based in San Francisco. Sanofi said Medivation had not responded to its offer letter, sent two weeks ago. That proposal comes at a premium of more than 50% over Medivation's two-month volume weighted average share price, Sanofi said. 
In acquiring STEM centrics, Avi paid 16% more than the $5 billion the startup fetched in its latest fundraising round. Avi's shares gained less than 1% on Thursday. There are still more billion dollar deals to be done in the healthcare world, analysts and experts say, so long as antitrust regulators continue to allow them. Do I think there will be a fair share of deals that have a B in them? Absolutely, said Thad Kreschel, lead partner in PwC's healthcare deals practice, referring to transactions worth more than a billion dollars. From an activity perspective and number of transactions, will continue to be fairly strong, strong.